camera rolling. So I was watching this video the other day of this guy trying to explain how to figure rafters and it was really so frustrating to me because it was so overcomplicated. This guy spent 40 minutes on the math of how to figure rafters and it's it's exponentially more simple than that. So what I want to do is quickly make sure I'm rolling here, but just go through this and then I'm going to spend some time on uh, stairs. What I, like, what I like to do in SketchUp is just draw myself a background because um, uh, when you start like trying to scroll around in space, you don't, you don't have much control. So what I'll do is I'll make myself a background and actually I need to make it probably a little bigger. Let me just delete this one. Just start over, Tony. Make a big one. Just make yourself a big and then I'm going to lock it. I'm going to create a group and lock it so I don't have to worry about it. Okay, now, so I also want to change my style here to construction. And I'm using SketchUp Pro, but there is a, um, a free version of SketchUp in the browser. Just uh, search SketchUp Browser. Or I locked it and now I'm trying to change its cover. There we go. So see now that that background is basically not there so that I can move in on it. I'm going to lock it again. Okay, so let's do rafters right quick. So I'm still rolling. Anybody watching? You're re watching. Cool. <coughs> Let's just take very simple examples, and I like to do this. And I'm not, I'm doing this, it's, it's not because, I, I don't want, I don't want people to think that things are complicated when they're not. It's annoying to me, so this is why I'm doing this. But we're going to start off with some simple examples, and I'll show you how simple this can be. And like a typical small house is 24 feet uh, wide, okay? Let's just draw ourselves a 24 foot line. And you might say to yourself, well, if I'm gonna build this roof, I think I want it to be four feet tall. So I'm gonna draw myself a four foot uh, line there. Oh, look, what do we have? A triangle. Wow. <laughs> okay, so now, how can I do this simply? So, let me go back to my um, camera here. I'm going to take my phone and I'm going to hold it up to 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 the camera here, or to the yeah, to the camera here, just a second. But I'll show you how easy this is. When you are figuring rafter lengths, we're obviously talking about the Pythagorean theorem, right? A squared equals where can I? Where can I just get a pencil that I can draw freehand? Here we go. This is going to be A, and this is B. Hey, well, you know what's funny is I've never actually used a freehand pencil in SketchUp before. Okay? And this is C. Okay? Um, we know that our house was uh, 24 feet wide. So we know the run of our, 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 which is half the span, is uh, 12 feet. Okay, when we said this arbitrarily that we want this to be four feet because we want the house to be easy to build and we want to save on materials and all that. So we're going to say this is four feet. Okay, so I can do this math in my head. Uh oh, when I get that black screen, I have to go check to see. And I'm still rolling, and I am. Okay. Go back to SketchUp. So I can do this math in my head, right? I know that 12 times 12 is 144. Okay. 
I know that four times four is 16. This is all simple math, right? All I have to do is add those two numbers together, <coughs> which I can tell you right now is what, 160? I can do that math in my head, 144 plus 16 equals 160, okay? Now, let me go back to my open broadcaster here a second. So, on, on your iPhone, <laughs> if you turn your calculator sideways, you get some nifty little things here. I get a square root thing, a button. And all I have to do is hit square square root. I have to be able to see it first. There it is. And so I know that it's 12, what does it say? 12.649. And by cracky, if I take my measuring tool and I measure that, it comes up to 12 foot 7 and 13 sixteenths, okay? Well, guess what the fraction 12.649 is? It's 12 foot 7 and 13 sixteenths. Okay, you see how easy and quick that was? Now you say, well, Artisan Tony, how does that translate into a raptor? Well, what is going on with my software today? I just need to make sure I'm still broadcasting. Sometimes the thing will freeze when it's doing that. Well, all you have to do now is go into your trusty, um, should I leave all that up? No, you can, I can erase all this junk. That's funny, that is literally the first time I've ever drawn freehand in SketchUp. I usually draw nice, pretty, straight lines. Okay, so now, let's say this is our house, okay? I'm just gonna draw myself a box here to represent the, and that should be 24 feet, by eight feet, we'll say. Okay, now, we're first of all gonna draw this rafter as if it's just sitting on the top plate, okay? And we know our, let's, let's say we're good carpenters and we're gonna use two by eights, okay? That's seven and a quarter, 7.25, okay? I just drew, and I, I'm being a little sarcastic here, but I'm, I'm trying, to, trying to be nice, but these people just make this way too complicated, okay? And, and my point about this is, is that you should plan all this out before you start anyway, okay? So you want a two foot overhang on your house, or let's just say 16 inches because the house isn't that wide and two foot might look funny. I like two feet, but, um, oops, I let my inference go there, didn't I? There we go, delete all this other junk. And now I've got uh, a nifty little rafter, okay? Now what I'm going to do is make a group out of that rafter because I want to be able to manipulate it now. Make a group. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and delete this line here because I don't need it anymore. Okay. So now um, you say to yourself, "Well, Tony, I need a bird's mouth." We say, "Yeah, you do." So we can take that nifty little rafter and we can move it down a couple of inches. You know, whatever you want to do, two inches, like that, okay? So is that complicated? <laughs> now, when you are measuring your rafter on your sawhorse, you just take your, you're measuring to what we call the theoretical length. And I drew that line, that construction line there, just to show you. That, this length never changes, okay? The, the theoretical length is from the very point of your rafter down to this point. See, it didn't change, did it? No matter where I measure that point, if I measure the bottom of the rafter, it's still the same measurement, okay? So we measure that point along the top of the rafter, then we take our speed square, and I'll, I'm just gonna um, draw this on there for a second. We'll take this, and then I'm gonna move it up here for a second, oops. Wrong thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna move the raft up here for a second, okay? So, you're gonna draw this line all the way across. Let me go in and edit this. You're gonna draw this line all the way across your rafter uh, when you're 
when you're laying out your rafter. You're going to buy a rafter, and the reason you want to plan this out is because now I can measure the whole length, and that says 14 feet. And so I'm going to buy a 16 foot 2 by 8 for this rafter. Okay. And I'm going to, and now that I know I want a two, foot, two inch bird's mouth, I just come up two inches like that. And you do this with your speed square. And then you just draw a line across like that, right? And so now there's your bird's mouth and you can erase your line. Okay, it's that simple. Now up here at, the, at your ridge, you're going to be using a, a two by 10 Let's draw ourselves a 2 by 10 ridge, and that would be 9.25. What in the world did I do? Nine point two five by 1.5. I forgot to enter the, the width, okay? I'm going to make that a group just because I don't want it to stick. Now, you see, you, um, you're going to have two rafters, okay? So this, you need to alter your, your rafter when it's sitting on your sawhorse. You need to take off three quarters of an inch for the thickness of your rafter, right? And then your rafter is going to end up, I mean, your ridge is going to end up right there, right? And let me just demonstrate this. I'll take this rafter. Let's see. And um, copy it. And I'll mirror it. Dang it. Okay. I accidentally put the ridge in there and delete that so now I can just take this rafter and it goes at the theoretical point right here see so if you didn't have a ridge let me take this out this ridge board out okay so if I didn't have a ridge and you just had your two rafters say you were building a truss this is how they would look. Why did I put that stuff inside the block, the, the group? I don't know. Got to get in the habit of not putting stuff in my groups. Okay, so if I was building a truss, those two, the theoretical length would remain the total length. But because I'm going to have a ridge, okay, I got to take that length off of each one because my ridge is going to be right here. But see, the ridge is going to be down here where it meets like that see so now I gotta cut off that I gotta cut that length off my rafters on my sawhorses sit on that side and I gotta take my speed square and make me a mark and I gotta cut that off See, but the theoretical length of the rafter never changed. You see, now I'm going to pull, pull this back down to where it's sitting on top of my wall. Okay, that's it. That's how simple it is. You just built yourself a house. Now you say to yourself, well, Tony, what's the pitch? Uh, well, all you have to do there is draw yourself a... Uh, Put yourself, and I'm, I'm assuming you're doing this in SketchUp or some other CAD program. Uh, just draw yourself a, a line 12 inches like that and then measure up from that 12 inches and that is 412. I just drew, if you look down here in the bottom right hand corner, you'll see that when I drew that line, it is a 412, which is the most common roof pitch ever <laughs> you can put shingles on that you can put a metal roof on that once you go below a 312 this would this this would have been lower let me go back and see if i'm still why does that look so grainy does it look that grainy 
I'm looking at my view here. It looks really fuzzy in the picture. It doesn't look fuzzy on here, or does it? It's weird. So, um, let's do that. The reason I'm doing this is because, first of all, I'm trying to get you to plan out your your drawings, okay, uh, in SketchUp or some other, you know, Sketch. They have a free version of SketchUp, so that's why I promote it a lot. Now you say to yourself, well, if I was going to build a house, I'm going to do it. All you know, this is done in two dimensions right now. Well, really, back in the old days when we didn't have three-dimensional programs, this is how we did it. But now we have all this the, this beauty in three-dimensional CAD. And I can select that, and I can pull this up an inch and a half. And now I can actually um, build an entire roof system in Sketch if I, if I wanted to. I could just, you know, draw the entire, which I do. You've seen my other projects. You'll see I'll do the, the whole framing plan there. But mainly the reason I wanted to do this was is because it, it seems like people just want to complicate things. I don't know why. Is it to keep people from wanting to get into it or trying, trying it themselves or what is it? That got off somehow. Oh, I see. I'm looking at the thickness. That's funny. I was like, what happened? I, I gave it a thickness, so it gave it the appearance that it was sticking out. So, and then, in, you know, in real life, you would, uh, you're going to end up uh, coming out here and putting yourself a collar tie. Um, where's my point? There we go. A collar tie that basically goes um, all the way. I need to put that back down, don't I? Make it flat again. Because it's messing me up. There we go. Your collar tie would be lapped over like that. You could use a 2 by 6 for a collar tie, so that would be 5.5. And so you just have a bunch of Cut yourself a bunch of two by sixes that long, and that would help. You know, that would tie your your roof together, and then you'd have ceiling joists down here. But the main thing I wanted to do was kind of show that it's not that complicated to to figure rafters. It's very simple. Uh, you can do simple rafters in your head. Uh, you don't need, and as I did many, I've been doing this for 40 years, I, did, I figured many rafter lengths in my head, <laughs> so, on the job, actually doing the rafters, so, it's not that, or on a scrap piece of paper, or on a two before, it's not that complicated. So, I'm going to start a different um, video for the stairs, because I'm looking at my view here, and it looks awful fuzzy. For some reason, on my screen, I don't know if you can see what I'm looking at, but um, I'm going to change this to just uh, simplifying rafters, and I'm going to start a different one for the stairs, just to see if that fixes that. If you got any questions, leave them in the uh, comments, and like if you have a special rafter you want me to show you how to make, or um, valley raptors or anything like that just leave it in the comments thanks guys